assalamu alaikum my dear viewers in today's class i will again show you how to determine the moment of inertia of this shaded area about both axes about x axis and about y axis so it's very interesting to know how we can determine that and we'll again use the direct integration method in this case so as i said in the previous class that you have to look upon the equation so equation is y is equal to kx square so it is in the form of y therefore we need to cut a strip that strip should be parallel to the y axis so we need to cut a strip like this and this strip is parallel to the y axis that's the first thing then we can give the dimensions to this strip so we'll say the width of this strip is dx the distance from this point to this point and its height is from this point to this point that is y that's y and from this point to this point the distance is x so this is the first thing which we need to do we need to give the different dimensions to this elementary strip then we can directly use the direct integration method so i will show you how to do that so we need to first find out the moment of inertia of this elementary strip about the y axis and limits are given so i will try to find out that is moment of inertia about the y axis so if i rotate this about the y axis so we need to find we should have the area of this elementary strip and the square of the distance that is x so i will say integration of x that is square of the distance that which was x from, from the center of this elementary strip to the y y axis and da this da as i said in the previous case also that is the area of the elementary strip this elementary strip this time da is width and the height and its height that is y d x so that is the area of the elementary strip so we'll substitute this area here so it means integral of x square da instead of da we'll write y dx so this is in the form of dx so what are the limit, uh, limits of dx that is from 0 to a so we can give the limits from 0 to a now as we did in the previous case we need to remove this y so how we can do that we know from the curve equation that y is equal to kx square so we will try to find out the value of k that means k is equal to y by x square now what is y y is from 0 to b so you can see from here it is from 0 to b so we'll write the y is b and x is from 0 to a the maximum value of x is a so that is a to the power of 2 so that is the value of k so we will substitute this value in this equation that means y is equal to instead of k we'll write b by a to the power of 2 and x square so this value we will substitute in this equation so we will write integral of 0 to a x square instead of y we will write b to the b by a to the power of 2 x square dx so this is the constant term so let's take this term out that is b by a to the power of 2 integral of 0 to a this x square x square it is x to the power of 4 dx then we can do the integration that is b by a to the power of 2 x by 5 divided by 5 0 to a so this 5 can go out that means b by 5a to the power of 2 so instead of x to the power of 5 that means a to the power of 5 this will get cancelled and it will be 3 here and that is a to the power of 3 b divided by 5 so moment of inertia of this element of this region about the y-axis that is a to the power of 3 b by 5 so this was about the moment of inertia about the yy axis what is its moment of inertia about the xx axis so we can find out that that means 
moment of inertia about the x axis so we'll take this elementary strip here separately so let's try to understand this is the elementary strip which we have cut from the shaded region so its width is how much we have kept that that is dx and its height from this point to this point that height is y and this is the cg of this elementary strip and you know moment of inertia of a rectangle about its centroidal x axis that is bh cube by 12 but we need to find out the moment of inertia about this base so about base i base what is that that is bh cube by 3 so remember this thing this is the moment of inertia of a rectangle about its base that is bh cube by 3 so if we use the direct integration method then we'll say the integral of b b is the width of this elementary strip that is dx and h is the height what is the height that is y so i will write y to the power of 3 by 3 so this is the moment of inertia of this elementary strip about its base so how we can do the rest of the part so let's take this constant term out it is 1 by 3 1 by integral of y to the power of 3 dx so it is dx we need to find out the limits the limits of dx is again a is from 0 to a so it is from 0 to a now let's substitute the value of y3 we already have found out that y is equal to b by a to the power of 2 into x to the power of 2 so we can substitute directly that value here so it means 1 by 3 integral of 0 to a within the limits of 0 to a y3 that is b a square into x square the whole cube dx so let's give the values here so that means 1 by 3 integral 0 to a it is b cube a to the power of 6 x to the power of 6 dx again this is the constant term so let's take that constant term out so that means b to the power of 3 divided by 3 a to the power of 6 and we can write this one it is x 7 by 7 within the limits of 0 to a so it means b cube divided by this will go out it is that is 21 we'll multiply this with 3 21 a to the power of 6 into a to the power of 7 so it's 6 it's 7 so we'll get, get cancel that is a b cube divided by 21 is the moment of inertia of this shaded region about x axis so this is the how we have to solve this i hope you enjoyed this question and you got this question if you if you got this question please do subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon thank you very much for watching me